preview. Hi, I'm Phil Lempert with this week's new products, the hits, and of course, the misses. Utz Select Everything Pretzels. Now, I've always liked the snacks from Utz, but I should have known that when you're trying to be everything, it might not be the right way to go. Now, take a bite. These Everything Pretzels don't taste like pretzels. The texture of the pretzel itself is more like a cracker, but the combined flavors of the sesame, poppy, onion, and garlic, those are exceptional. Now, this pretzel really reminds me of a chewy, crispy, dry piece of whole wheat toast, much more than it does a typical pretzel. Retails for $2.69, total score is $84. Three Musketeers Raspberry with Dark Chocolate Minis. Now, if you grew up eating Three Musketeers, you're not going to like their new Raspberry Minis, and not just because of the size or the flavor. Three Musketeers was always creamy on the inside and left you craving more. The upside is that seven of these are just 180 calories and about half the fat of a lot of other chocolate bars. But me, if I'm going to splurge, I'm going to stick with the original Three Musketeers. Now, one more thing. You can barely taste the raspberry flavor anyway, which is not so surprising when you read the ingredients and no raspberry. Guess those natural and artificial flavors just not really doing the job. Retails for $3.29, total score is $73. Cubell Milk Chocolate Wafer Rolls. Now, my grandmother used to give me chocolate wafer rolls just like these. Cubell's crispy wafer rolls taste just like the ones I remember, but these have chocolate on the ends as well. But no artificial flavors or preservatives, no high fructose corn syrup, and no hydrogenated oil. It's really a terrific tasting snack, which it better be, for about 70 cents for each roll. Retails for $1.39, total score is 82. Gourmet Mist Extra Virgin Olive Oil is a hit. Now, here's a great new way to get in shape. Instead of pouring on the olive oil, you just spray it on with this pump spray from Gourmet Mist. You might even build up those biceps because this spray has no propellants. So you get a workout from pumping it up yourself eight to 10 times before you spray. The extra virgin olive oil tastes great. Although I do want to know the country of origin rather than just saying it's imported on the label. I know you're going to love the product, but at almost $1.40 an ounce, the question is, how often can you afford to buy it? Retails for $8.99, total score is $87. Wild Smart Salmon Kenyan Coffee Barbecue Sauce is another hit. Now, about 10 years ago, I was one of the judges in the Alaska Symphony of Salmon. I got to learn all about salmon and taste some of the world's finest and best cooked salmon. This salmon would win this year's competition hands down. Not only is it wild salmon and packaged for the new microwave steaming technology, cooks in under three minutes, and get this, the Kenyan coffee barbecue sauce gives it really a special flavor. It's extraordinary. Now, be sure to let the product thaw properly in the fridge, in the package inside, to allow the marinade to do its thing and to be fully absorbed by the fish. I love the package, not only because of the cooking method, the marination, but also because it shows you right up front the amount of omega-3, vitamin D, and antioxidants. The back tells the whole story. You can cook this in the microwave, even boil it, and just one taste of Alaskan sockeye, and you'll never eat another kind of salmon again. Retails for about $8 for a six-ounce filet. Total score is 91. New products, hits and misses, upload right here every Wednesday. For the complete description and information, just log on to supermarketguru.com.